Welcome into the End the Money podcast for KeelanSelect.com. I'm Tom Leach alongside Jim Goodman, Keelan's Director of Wagering Development. As we take a look at the All Stakes Pick 5 and Pick 4 at Kentucky Downs. Great card, big full fields. You'll have fun betting these races. Hopefully you can find your way to a couple of winners and should get some good payoffs. We'll start in the sixth race, Jim, with the Kentucky Downs Juvenile Turf Sprint. Six and a half furlongs. Who do you like? For five hundred thousand yeah. dollars, by the way, <laughs> not not a bad money in there. I like Chattel, the two horse, uh, coming out of the race, uh, the Skidmore Stakes at Saratoga uh, on a good turf course, which might translate well to Kentucky Downs. Turf course is a little bit different down there, obviously, but uh, Chattel ran well. Big buyer jumped to seventy seven at five and a half furlong, stretching out to six and a half. All'll do well. Carter Cat, the five horse, exits the same race for Asmussen. Asmussen usually does well at Kentucky Downs. And both Wesley Wards, the Moonlight Romance 10 and May Never Know 11, fit the race. Life Mission, the eight, is the first North America for Colebrook. First Lasix and gets Giroux, the best jockey down there. So I'm going to go with Chattel, the two horse, but going to go deep when we talk about the pick five. Yeah, I'll go deep as well. I ended up on May Never Know, one of the two Wesley Wards. I uh, saw. Uh, Jeremy Plonk, who does such a great job with the uh, stats during the Keeneland meet. I saw him uh, recently talking about the Kentucky Downs card, uh, I guess it was last weekend, and he had a a stat about how well uh, Scat Daddy offspring do over this turf course. This horse is a granddaughter of Scat Daddy, so that's the kind of thing that kind of nudged me in the direction of may never know. Also, Wesley Ward, 21% first-time turf, and three works for this horse since a runaway win think we'll have her good and fit so i'm going to take may never know uh the ones i would use with her moonlight romance life mission you mentioned chattel carter cat the other one i threw in there was far away kitten i won't use all of those when i get to the the pick five i'd like to but it'll be cost too much i'll have to pare it down but this to me is a tough one seventh race is the kentucky downs ladies turf which starts the pick four this is at a mile and I took a bit of a, of a stretch here and went to Dubara. I bet this horse last weekend, and I thought that was a better field. And Walsh is a sharp trainer, bringing this one back on a week. Now, part of it is the pots are so big. If you've got a horse that's, that's fit, I can see it turning it around real quickly. But it is the third start off a layoff, so horse could improve. Just barely got beat for the money last weekend. So uh, I'm guessing they're saying she's fit, she's doing well. Let's put her right back out there. I'm Betty G and Storm the Hill, I think, are the, the two most likely uh, winners. The nine, Insta Irma, coming in from the West Coast, I'm going to include as well. But uh, I took a, a bit of a swing here with Dubara, the 10. How about you? This is really scary here, Tom, because I've got a double circle around that KD under this under her running lines. Kentucky Downs back in a week. That's an unusual uh situation but uh i don't blame him if she ran well last week and uh only got beat for the money and comes back in a in a actually a bigger stakes race that was a two hundred thirty nine thousand dollars race last weekend so dubara is a is a shot here basheka is is a great jockey i like in the lee the eight insta irma the nine i'm betty g the one and storm the hill the three which is all the horses that you mentioned uh i'm not going to single to bar that, that would be a real stretch i think uh my most likely winner is i'm betty g i really like the one hole there i like the fact that uh she got the lead easily last time at <clears throat> excuse me uh at ellis park and uh, even canterbury and belmont wire to wire all three races and uh, i think that fits well for this for this field at a mile so i'm betty g would be my win pick but i like to as well Gets us to the eighth race and they'll go six and a half furlongs in the kentucky downs ladies sprint uh, you've got uh, some horses that have done well on this turf course before, which is always a good angle. Which one did you land on? That is absolutely the best angle. And this is my single in the pick five. I'm going to take Lull. Uh, Lull is a Kentucky Downs superstar, two for two, including this race last year. You toss the rough trip in the last at Woodbine, and she's the most consistent uh uh, mayor in the race, and I think that she is a uh, legitimate single here. If you don't like her, I think Ruby Notion jumped up last time at Saratoga, again on soft turf in the caress, and uh, one by two, Giroux rides her back for Darren Miller, and uh, I think she's got a real shot in here as well, but uh, I think Lowell is the back class here, tilted her in my favor, uh, til- tilted it in her favor, and Ruby Notion uh, would be my alternate selection if I were going too deep. Yeah, I'm looking the same way as you and these two. I ended up taking Ruby Notion just off that big improvement in the last race and the fact that uh, Chandelaine came back and won out of that race. Uh, Lull, those 
those two, uh, I think one of those two likely wins it. If not, there's one other horse that has uh, one here. That's Brielle's Appeal down on the inside. Uh, at good speed for that one. So uh, that one's certainly worth looking at. But uh, I'm going to just go too deep when we get to the, the uh, multi-race wagers. The ninth is the Kentucky Downs Turf Sprint. This is also at six and a half furlongs. This is the boys. And I did not have a strong opinion here. Ended up on Master Marion, who uh, may may scratch. He was entered Thursday as well. He's won here, working bullets, has run big off a layoff before. It's Wesley Ward. He does well at this meet. So I like that one. But uh, here's the, the list of the others I like. Conquest Panthera, the one. Uh, five, Blind Ambition for Pletcher as a, a race, if you look back, two or three, that would certainly be good enough to win this. Undrafted, another one for Ward. Uh, Pro Forma, Joe Bravo, and then Jazzy Times, who uh, jumped up two races back, made a big improvement, backed it up with uh, the the race last time at Ellis in the prep for this. And if he improves a little bit, he could be right there. So uh, that's that's an intriguing one as well. I won't use all of those just because of ticket cost when we get to the multi-races. But uh, within this race, I'd go um, you know as deep as you can if you're doing an exacta box. I'm going to key around Master Marion if he does go. How about you? We have a little different opinion on this race. Um, we've got another horse in here that's coming back off a week layoff, Vici, the three horse that won for Mike Maker from the very outside post and won pretty easily, uh, won by two and a half. Uh, actually, the 15 horse that uh, finished out a uh, an early pick three for me last week on on September 1st. So, uh, bringing him back in um, in a week is a is a good work. Um, I, I think uh, the win at Kentucky Downs certainly made my decision easier. But this is a wide open race. I like Master Marion if he goes. I like uh, Undrafted the four. Blind Ambition, the five for Pletcher. And a horse that you didn't mention, White Flag, the seven for Christophe Clement and Rosario. Comes in here off a, a big win at Belmont, an $80,000 claimer at seven furlongs. So the distance fits, and uh, I think he's got a big shot. So, yeah, this is one that you really need to go deep in. And the all button wouldn't be bad, but at Kentucky Downs, the all button costs you a lot of money. Does it ever. The Grade 3 Calumet Farm Kentucky Turf Cup is the last race we're going to take a look at. They'll go a mile and a half here. And I like Oscar nominated, uh, two for two over the track, never worse than second at a mile and a half. Jose Ortiz comes in to ride. Uh, I saw a story recently uh, where uh, uh, Maker was saying this horse is doing as better than he's ever done. Um, so I, I like that one a lot. I thought uh, Bigger Picture, another Maker horse, certainly is a player here. Maker's dominated this race. Uh, I think this is four in a row he's going for. Uh, Manitoulin, uh, throw out the last one. And the race back on the Manhattan uh, would certainly give him a big shot in here. Big Ben, because he's won here before. And Nessie, and the main angle there is Le Peru. He really rides this course well and gets good mounts. And he's on a 15-to-1 horse, so I, I would uh, hate to have him beat me. I don't know if I'll be able to include him in all the multi-races, but uh, that's an intriguing price play for me. But Oscar nominated is my win pick. How about you? And I agree with you on this race. I think Nessie is a good price play. Uh, Le Peru won three races opening day at Kentucky Downs. One on the lead, one from behind. I, it just fits him and uh, Florent Giroux. And I, I think it, as you wager at Kentucky Downs, don't leave them off if they've got a horse that's live because they will make a difference down there. They know how to ride the course. Uh, they know how to, when to move the horse in that long stretch. So I think you, you always include Le Peru, and Nessie is a good long shot play here. But I'm also going with Oscar nominated. Um, a solid choice to repeat. Uh, loves it here. Maker and Ortiz. Ortiz is going to ride the entire meet at Kentucky Downs, and he's a quick study. So I think he'll do very well at Kentucky Downs. Bigger picture, the four. Multiplier, the five. And Arc Lowe, the eight, uh, a horse that you didn't mention, won at Ellis Park uh, last time out in their Kentucky Cup preview day and uh, got a 93 buyer. And if he goes back, if he cycles back to his uh, 99 that he ran in New Orleans over the winter, uh, he fits right here. And he's got Giroux at 12 to 1. So there's some nice plays in here. And especially if you like Oscar nominated, wouldn't be a bad idea to put Arc Lowe and uh, uh, Nessie below that horse in trifectas and exactas. But I'm going to go with Oscar nominated. Going to go spread a little bit further in the pick four that we talk about in a few minutes. May single in the pick five, though. Well, let's talk about the pick five. It starts in the sixth race with the juvenile turf sprint. I'm going four deep there. Again, I'd like to go deeper, but to keep this ticket manageable, I'm using uh, May Never Know, uh, Moonlight Romance, Life Mission, and Far Away uh, Kitten. So three, eight, ten, eleven. Second leg, I'm going one three nine ten, 
That's I'm Betty G, Storm the Hill, Instant Irma, and my win pick, Dubara. I'm going to use Ruby Notion and Lull, five and six. Then I'm going one, four, five, eleven in the fourth leg, which is Conquest Panthera, Undrafted, Blind Ambition, and Master Marion, and that's the one I feel the least good about. And then I'm going to single Oscar nominated. If you want to double the price of the ticket, you could add Bigger Picture. That would be my next one. But uh, to keep the ticket manageable, I'll single Oscar nominated in my pick five. How about you? I'm going to do a pick five with a, with a couple of singles to make it uh, reasonable. So in the first leg, I'm going to go 2, 5, 8, 10, 11. That's Chattel, Carter Cat, Life Mission, Moonlight Romance, and May Never Know. Then I'll also go five deep in the second leg with a 1, 3, 8, 9, 10. I'm Betty G, Storm the Hill, In the Lee, Insta Irma, and Dabara. And then I'm going to get to my single, the Lull, Lull, the six horse in the third leg. I'm going to go five deep in the ninth race with three, four, five, seven, eleven. That's Vitsi, Undrafted, Blind Ambition, White Flag, and Master Marion. And single the last leg with the six Oscar nominated. That's $62.50. All right, now we'll go to the pick four. It starts in the seventh with the ladies' turf. Tell me about your pick four ticket. Structure the same, except uh, I spent sixty two fifty again. Uh, I'm going to go one three eight nine ten. Continue to single lull as the six horse in the second leg. Three four five seven eleven, and I'm going to add some horses in the uh, Calumet uh, Cup with the two four five six eight. That's Nessie, bigger picture, multiplier, Oscar nominated, and Arclo, and that's also sixty two fifty with one single in my pick four. My pick four is going to be structured a little differently than my pick five. I'm using the same four uh, in the seventh, the one, three, nine, ten, using the same two in the next leg, five and six. Same ones in the next leg, one, two. Actually, I'm uh, adding one horse in there. I'm adding the two. So I'm going one, two, four, five, eleven. I'm adding pro forma. And then in the last leg, I'm going to use four horses, two, three, four, six. And that makes it, uh, I think, $80 for 50 cents. So I'll give you the order in which I like them. If you want to play my ticket, I'll give you the order in which I like the ones in the last leg, and you can trim trim down as you see fit to fit your budget. Oscar nominated. So it's actually 6 four, three, two is the order in which I like them. So if you want to save a little money, you could scratch off the two, save even more, scratch off the three, that kind of thing. So four by two by five by four for me in my pick four. As you can tell, it's just really tough to keep uh, tickets, anything uh, on the low end of the spectrum when there are so many good horses, well-matched, big fields. It's just uh, yeah, great uh, great betting opportunities. If you can find your way to uh, cash a few, you're going to get well-rewarded. So best of luck on doing that on the Saturday card at Kentucky Downs. We're just one month away from Keeneland getting started. This is the In the Money podcast for KeenelandSelect.com.